Hello and welcome to our video tutorial on how to create a time off policy. Let's begin with some basic navigation. On my screen's right hand are our paid and unpaid policies. For instance, I have created a paid PTO assigned to my full-time employees, a sick leave policy that's assigned to all of my employees, and an unpaid leave policy. Let's go ahead and create a policy and assign it to my part-time employees. Since we are creating a policy for our part-time employees, ours will be called part-time employees. Start by choosing if you wish the balance to show in hours or days, then select if there is a limit to the amount of time off received or if it is unlimited. Since we want to limit the amount of time off our employees can request, we're going to select the limited option. Now we'll be presented with two options, fixed or earned per hour. If you have hourly workers who work in a regular amount of hours, then the hourly option will allow them to earn time off based on the hours worked within the time clock. If your employees are entitled to a fixed amount of time off for a year, then you should choose fix. We'll go with fixed for our part-timers. Now it's time to define the accrual settings determining how employees accrue time off. For our paid time off policy, we'll set the accrual to 80 hours per year accrued at the beginning of each year. When you have set this up, press next. Now, we're working Monday to Friday and a day is eight hours long. We also wish for the request to go through admin approval. I will also want a seven day notice before someone requests time off and the balance should not carry over until the next year. To assign the policy, we'll quickly filter for our part-time employees and select them all. You can also choose to set the policy as a default policy by using this toggle meaning any new employees you add will automatically be assigned to the policy. In our case, since this is not assigned to everyone, we'll toggle this off. Finally, add your employees' balances and you're done. If you need to make changes to a policy or someone's balance, just click on these three dots. Another important note, if you wish to create another policy type that does not exist in your dashboard, for instance, jury duty, a personal day policy, or anything else. Just click on the add type at the top right and begin the creation process. Thanks for watching.